So today in this video, I'll be discussing the Aztec Empire. Um, the Aztec Empire is located in what we call modern day um, Mexico, sort of in the central um, area. And the empire was from 1300 to about 1521. However, they did not get conquested until 1519. And that conquest was led by Hernan Cortes. And um, the people of the Aztecs referred to themselves as Mexico. However, most people um, usually refer to them as Aztecs. Um, but yeah, so moving on, um, I would like to compare the uh, Aztec Empire to the time of civilization. Um, one of the things the Spaniards described when they uh, first got to the Aztec area was the system of causeways uh, throughout the area. And um, when we were talking about the time of civilization, it was noted that they had elaborate systems of um, highways, causeways, bridges, and uh, so it's it's obvious that both of these civilizations and empires used uh, causeways to um, get around from different city to city. Um, so through learning about the Aztec people, some of the cultural trends that stood out to me was definitely the um, emphasis on uh, sac human sacrifice. And that was really important to their culture and it's also viewed as kind of controversial um, to many people um, because it was so uh, rampant. Um, however, though it did happen, the Spaniards really did uh, fabricate and exaggerate some of the details um, in regards to it. It did happen, but um, some of the details, they were a little bit um, exaggerated. Um, the main reason for the sacrifices, however, uh, was definitely for the gods and the ancestors of the people. Um, and they believed that the gods uh, wanted them needed to renew and their energy and be nurtured and the way to do that was through um, sacrifice and blood um, of human blood. And so the sun is also symbolic of sacrifice. Um, it, it's because the great ancestors of the Teo, Teo Hukan gods, they sacrificed themselves to, um, they sacrificed their lives and to give energy into the sun. So that's why it's so symbolic and representative of sacrifice. Um, and women, children, uh, sinners, captives were all um, able to be sacrificed. So there's no really anybody who's off limits in that respect. Um, and sacrifices were also a way to pay back the debt that they felt they owed to the ancestors because they sacrificed for them. So they were just giving back um, and paying their debt. And so since the sacrifices, archaeologists have found uh, remains of sacrificial people um, with their hands tied behind their backs. and other just interesting things um, symbolic of that time. Um, and so like in many societies, women play very crucial roles to the dynamic of the society. And in the Aztec Empire, women did this by um, helping out with the, uh, with the economy. And they did this through their uh, basket weaving or just weaving in general, um, as well as making food. They were able to sell that um, and really be merchants and sell their um, skills. And so this really contributed to the economy for the Aztecs, and this also relates to the women in the kind of civilization. They were really, really at the forefront of um, the trade for that civilization as well. So there's some similar similarities that you're able to note between the two civilizations. Sorry. Um, and so the Aztecs really worked to preserve their um, history through artifacts. And some of the ways they did that was through sculptures. Um, however, it really did reflect some of their religious uh, views and um, their uh, emphasis on divine power, and that wasn't really okay with the Spaniards. So some of them did not survive, but the ones that did, um, the artifacts that, that did survive, the sculptures, it was because um, the natives buried them and they were able to be refound later. Um, and yeah, and they also, um, they also, well, the fall of the Aztec within the two years of them being conquested was really because um, the Spaniards did have stronger military um, technology, but it was also because that some of the indigenous people fought the Aztecs with Cortes and they helped bring his army three times the, um, the size that it was when he first arrived. And as well as the fact that when the Spaniards came, um, like many other instances that we've learned about in other history courses, um, they brought their European diseases and that really drastically affected the natives and they could not um, recover from those diseases. So that really affected the population and killed off a lot of people. And so that really contributed to the fall. But yeah, that's all I have. Thank you for watching.